Valheim, a world of dangers and threats like no other game, but today we'll be tackling forces even greater than any creature from this depth of hell. People, you heard me. With this being my character, we're ready for my first ever server in Valheim. Spawning into this new world, I was surprised by how welcoming they were. There was actually a guide for new players just like me that showed me around the place and even gave me a five star condo. It was also known as the best resort in the best west. No, like that's actually what it was called, which is kind of cool. Okay, it's not too shabby. We ended up finding two other players. One of them named Akai, that was new just like I was, and we're being shown around by a player named Lockwood. Super informational and really helpful. He showed us around the guilds, there were a lot of them. One thing that I thought was really cool was that they had these portal rooms and they'd be all organized and prepared for getting you any place you'd want to visit around the world. And trust me, this world was huge. Don't believe me? Take a look. This is what the map looks like. I know, it was a mess of waypoints and all sorts of players. This server is actually known for having the most players on Valheim in a server at once. Now if you thought this was a lot of portals, Wait till you see the Nexus. That thing is unreal. It'll really blow your mind is when you finally get to see the Nexus, which is portals to everywhere. We ended up finding a really cool structure. This is, I think, a catapult. Then we got brought to a boathouse of sorts with an upside down boat, which looked insane, by the way. I don't even know how they built that. And just look at the view from here. Fueling in a cage up there. And then I saw a, a mob in a cage. Uh, what the heck is going on here? I was actually told this is a common thing. Lockwood then brought us into the Locks Den, which are these scary looking creatures. Apparently, we could actually ride this thing. I tried smashing it into the wall and escaping, but failed. We'll get him next time, boys. But that's it. Time to hop off before we get in trouble. Okay. Then we checked out the hot tub room. Swimming. So this is the swimming trainer. And this is apparently to train your swimming skills. And they're pouring out on their side. So that whole thing is actually filled with water, apparently. But I went to swim in this thing and my guy literally flew like <laughs> through the floor into an area. They had to come rescue me. It was terrible. And was advised not to fall out of the world for some reason. What kind of messed up system phases you through the world? Now, remember those guilds we were talking about? One guild actually really stood out to me and that was the Slayer's Guild. And the home base of the guild is this place called the King's Castle, which is, uh, they've got people up for display. Is this ethical? I don't even know. And check out these creepy dummies they used to train, staring into my soul. And this was the Merchant's Guild and the set of portals that they have. It's not as impressive as the next we've mentioned but it's still a step up from the last one but trust me you're gonna want to see the nexus at the very end of the beginner tour that we got from lockwood he then showed us to his base which was actually a bar it looked really cozy in my opinion and then he showed us to sunrise and we lived happily ever after i'm kidding he actually jumped off of this really high lookout area go ahead give it a shot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah. go ahead and take a leap of faith bro and then akai dared me to jump off of it as well and you know i did it took a leap of faith but you know <laughs> Uh, I, think, I think my legs are gone. Um, mistakes have been made, but will not be remembered. So you know what? At this point, we basically thought, you know what? Screw the guide. We don't need a guide. We don't need nothing. We're about to begin our own journey, me and Akai. First thing we ended up finding is one of the longest roads I've ever seen in Valheim. This thing literally went on for ages. Like, I couldn't find an ending to it. But forget that. We're not here to see that. We're here to see the Nexus, all right? We were advised not to see the Nexus. I'm trying to see what this thing looks like. And apparently, it's a little too hard for us newbies to comprehend. So you know what? That's not going to stop our curiosity. Let's be honest here. It's time we take things to our own hands and enter the portal. The Nexus. Oh, enter yeah, the Nexus. Bro. That's what That's I cool. meant. This is kind of cool. Oh, no, no. It is kind of cool. Like Elden Ring vibes, like the the Tree of Life type thing. I'm confused for why we weren't supposed to see this though, because like. Right, like what's up? Well, is it because it has, it has connected, all over? Bro. Like that's what i'm saying most of these Wait, aren't what? even connected there's what's... another nexus over here i think oh it's all interconnected um, interesting you know like, what's, what's going on here kind of culty right imagine we just walked in there were actual real players like uh, bro, discussing I what thought, they're gonna do with the server i genuinely thought they were real people until i hovered over them i could see that though yeah to be honest we're not even sure if we're allowed to be in here in the first place rule wise we looked around for a bit we felt really creepy vibes from here so we decided to instead of going through the nexus journey across the world to find our first player base don't worry that's not the last bit of the nexus we'll be there again this base was owned by a player named luffy no not the anime character but that was his username on the server he built quite a bit no lighting though so it was a little dark but we ended up finding out that he had a boat gotta leave bro we there's gotta a, go now a boat over here we're not gonna take the boat are we? is that happening right now <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i'm scared to die i'm scared to die bro i don't i don't know if we should take it i don't know man i'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> i don't think we should i don't think we should <laughs> nah, <bro. laughs> Let's leave. i'm scared whoa chill okay we're good people we instantly hopped off of the boat because we're good samaritans all right we're not allowed on it one thing we did realize is we were feeling a little bit lonely because he wasn't at the base and we're yet to even meet a player on the server that isn't some guide of some sort. So we went right back to the Nexus to stake out our next victim. I mean friend. Lo and behold, our time of waiting has come to an 
end, we found one of the most feared and threatening players to roam around the lands of this Valheim server. He is not to be messed with. With his track record of 16 killings just within the last week, we have to act as casual as we possibly can and not appear as the noobs we were. If we were going to get an ally that's really powerful on this server, this is the way to go. His name was Sherry. Don't let that nice name fool you. He is a menace to society. So he swarmed around him like sharks, ready to attack and pounce on him in the blink of an eye. We had no weapons, but Akai actually had a weapon that he found, which was the weapon of the gods called a stag breaker. It's the description of the weapon, okay? We saw Sherry go into a portal with his own name on it. And you know what I did as, as me being me? It's his portal. Um, it is? Yep, it's Sherry's portal. You want to follow Sherry? I'm going to follow him. No, I'm not doing that. I might get banned. Oh, no, 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 no. I just hit me. Just hit me. That's Sherry's portal, bro. That's a man who's active on the <laughs> server currently. Hello? I followed him, but I don't think I left enough of a gap because Sherry ended up finding me. I've been caught in red hands, blood dripping down from them. There was no way I could get out of this one without being sacrificed or slain. I looked around a bit from the moments of my life that still remained before Sherry would eventually kill me off. It was a terrifying experience. I felt like a prisoner held captive by the eyes of the warden. Akai goes through the portal as well to join me as backup, but then he started saying some very threatening words to us. We were scared for our lives. Akai was pretending that he needed some references for builds, and that's why we were here in the first place. Oh, you sly dog. Though I don't think we're getting out of this one unscathed. To be fair though, his base was kind of nice though. It looks sick. He spared us one last day, since it was our last breaths before being executed. We ended up on a bridge. Now this is no normal bridge, okay? This is the type of bridge people go to to be sacrificed sacrificed for the greater good of mankind. It's our fault. Our actions led up to this point and this moment of time. So there's no one to be blamed besides us. We are the problem. This is Sherry's world and we're just living in it. I can't even be mad at him. He's just doing his job. So our time has come to be executed and eliminated once and for all. But we don't give up that easily, okay? We are not to be fooled by Sherry. He is the enemy to us. So me and Akai decided on one of the biggest big brain strats of all time. You see, for some reason, Akai had a fishing rod. So we started fishing at the bridge to distract Sherry while I pushed him off of the very bridge we were supposed to die at, giving him a taste of his own medicine. <laughs> oh, snap. And Sherry was thrown off of the bridge, never to be seen again, ever again. Poor Sherry died in a tragic accident. The server's most deadliest player slain by my hands. He was no match for me from the very beginning. Oh, he almost died. He almost died. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, wait, he's still alive? What the heck? Even from a fall that high, he must truly live up to his name. I don't know. I think it's time to leave, bro. <laughs> Like I, over, I feel like we both overstayed our welcome on this one, bro. I never doubted you for a second, Sherry. Even despite our best efforts, he looked at us with forgiveness, and we realized maybe he isn't who he seems to be. All this time, he was actually showing us around and wanted us to get acquainted with some of his builds he was really proud of. He wasn't the menace we thought he was at first, and even forgave me for trying to murder him in cold blood as he was distracted and left vulnerable to defeat. What a nice man. So we decided to open up to him. I told him about the service I was given with my amazing talking skills, and he was left too stunned to speak. I would be too, Sherry. I would be too. We found a portal in his house named Danger. So you know me. I entered. It led me to this plains biome and it looked really pretty. Look at this lizard head. Just, just, just chilling with the lizard, huh? Yo, just chilling with the Dude, lizard. I, I want to I wanna kill the goblin so bad. Kill him, bro. How much XP? This is also where we found our first goblin on the server, which Akai swung his god tier weapon at and annihilated in one shot. It kind of got to his head a little bit. I can't lie to you. Sherry tried bringing us back to the Nexus, but I ended up going to the place with a bunch of loxes in them. And then he, you know, he came back to pick us up. All jokes aside, he was actually a really nice person, so we thanked him and said our goodbyes. He also said something about the best West, and I told him I was the best in the West. I, I think that's what he was trying to tell me. I'm, I'm not really sure. And so the server's most dangerous player ended up being a really decent guy with a loving family and kids, living peacefully on the server for the rest of his life. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, it doesn't wait. work. Don't it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, we're gonna get in trouble, dude. We gotta leave this now. <laughs> Akai attempts to go into another portal we're not allowed to go into, which I think isn't allowed, as Sherry walks by. Hello, Styles. We also sat by this fancy table in the middle of the Nexus, which looked kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie, but not as creepy as the castle we're gonna check out pretty soon. But in one of these seats, there was actually the server's most prestigious marketer, Soft Styles. He wasn't a man of much words. Despite our efforts to threaten him, he remained pretty cool in the situation, somehow. I don't think he's human. Well, he wasn't worth their time. We had nothing we wanted from him anyways. What the hell are these trolls? I just died. Uh
I dead just died. I dead just got one tap. The trolls are dangerous, dude. What? Kai got confident and started killing some more goblins. He called himself the Goblin Slayer. We visited the plains biome and wanted to explore what else it had to offer. He got one tap by a goblin. Not once. I'm gonna let you try that because I, I'm getting my loot, bro. My inventory is. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> It's one of these games. <laughs> it really is one of these games. But twice. All right, tell me when you're ready to book it, because I'm ready to kick you immediately. Yo, oh, it's not scary anymore. It's like nighttime. I ain't even... Oh, yeah. I went the wrong direction. Clearly, you aren't stressing. <laughs> <laughs> what do they do? Come from the ground? Like, what do they sprout from? He has two things in his inventory. Take that shit. <laughs> he sticks. Wait, he has literally sticks in there. Oh. What are we gonna do a six? That's a big boat. I do see it over there. I just died. How? How the f did I die? Did you hit I the just. Bike? I did. That's what. That is what happened. I got okay. it. What do you mean? How? I, I I don't know why. I just thought I could just walk like right beside it. It just didn't work. I I didn't think about it like that. And then a third time too. What was supposed to be an exploration mission ended up being the bane of Akai's existence. We found the gravestone of a fellow traveler. His name was Woodsy. It's an interesting one. He was in the Great War of Valhemia back in the good old days and served as the top soldier they had. We'll forever remember him. May he rest in pepperonis. Then we found a giant boat and I got jumped by a lox. We also got some cloud berries while we were at it. Oh, what is this? What yeah, the heck? It's cool, right? Safe. deep north then i think we found some event portals so we went to the first one which led us to this place called a deep north a snowy biome which looked really neat then we went into this place called a clubhouse it ended up being what i think is a valheim escape room which honestly sounds really cool the event already ended which was unfortunate but it didn't just stop there we then went to the cultist den which sounded really interesting we found this guy named dagon which is a winter soldier that had dropped everything he had it was really strange because if you died here surely it should be easy enough to get your stuff back because there's a direct portal there. It was not an extreme place to retrieve your items from. Something felt a little weird here. It felt kind of like a setup. I left it be though. There were some mines that I wanted to check out. Then I got clapped by some bats. I died. What the heck? We got the items back safe and sound. Now this place was one of the creepiest things I found on this public server. We ended up at this thing called the Elfin Castle. What the heck? Are these training dubbies? Is, are these training dubbies or, 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 or are they training? Is this their army for the undead? Bro. And I'm scared to hit. I'm scared to hit, bro. What if they all just turn to me and attack me? Oh my. Oh. This is okay. terrifying. Like, why did that? Wait, why is this one different? They did not have to do it. Y'all, that's so creepy. Now, I don't know if it's because we went at night or if it was because it was foggy, but look at this place. I thought it was going to be giving me good vibes, you know, some happy medieval atmosphere. But no, this place looks like the most corrupted settlement of kingdom people I've ever seen in my life. Lifeless people standing away at the king's awaiting orders. So you know what I did? I sat on the king's throne. And you all along, this is where I belonged. On a chair, because my legs kind of hurted from walking everywhere. We fall back and end up finding an even scarier place. The Swamp Tree House. All green and gloomy about this place. And it just kept going. The bones made it even scarier alongside the rain that was constantly on. Then I jumped off of the treehouse. YOLO. Peace.